This scorching summer heat is taking a toll on livestock ranches across East Texas. KTK's Tori Bean spoke to local ranchers who say if we don't see some real substantial rain soon, this situation could go from bad to worse. East Texas farms have had to change how they care for their cows. The grass is dead, there's not enough hay, and they've had to leave cows in pastures longer than they need to be. This year I'm a little worried because it's getting hotter faster and with no rain it's it's going to be tough. Johnny Wally with Wally Farm in Jacksonville and Robin Hood with Hood Family Farm in Bullard say they have had to make sure to pick breeds of cows that can handle the heat. It depends on the breed of the cattle. There are some breeds of cattle uh, like our Mashonas, Brahmas, and others that are specifically well adapted to high heat, high humidity environments. The higher temperatures cause stress on cows. The cows are not putting on weight the way we would like to see them put on weight. Uh, they are not as vigorous about grazing. That stress can cause the herd to reduce their eating and can stun a calf's growth. Hood owns a beef business and says he needs his cows to get enough nutrients. If the cows and the sheep don't have grass, or the chickens for that matter as well, if they don't have grass, they just don't grow as well. If we look on the other side from the human perspective, they don't have grass, it means we need to either cull the herd, reduce its size, or we need to start feeding. During the warmer weather, cows spend most of their days underneath the trees in the shade, which is problematic because they're not grazing as much as they need to. The hotter it gets, the less they want to give. Even dairy farms like Wally Farms in Jacksonville have had to figure out how his cows will eat. Every farmer is doing everything he can to uh, take care of his livestock, whether he's commercial or small. All they can do is pray for rain and hope we see the temperatures drop. And Bullard, Tory Bean, Kate's K News.